Number 9. A World War II fighter plane. A rare World War II era fighter plane has been recovered from the depths of the Black Sea after more than 75 years. The P 39 era Cobra was one of thousands of American aircraft supplied to the Soviet Union under the Lend Lease program during World War II. It was part of the 56th Fighter Aviation Regiment of the Red Army Air Force, which operated in Crimea and the Caucasus. The plane crashed into the sea near Novorossiysk in 1943 after being hit by anti-aircraft fire during a mission. The pilot, Lt. Valentin Zelenkov, managed to bail out and survive. The plane then sank to a depth of about 200 feet, where it remained until September of 2020. A joint expedition involving the Russian Geographical Society and the Expeditionary Center of the Russian Ministry of Defense located and lifted the plane using a special crane. The operation was part of a project to commemorate the 80th anniversary of Operation Barbarossa, Nazi Germany's invasion of the Soviet Union. The P-39 era Cobra was a unique fighter with a mid-engine design and a 37mm cannon fired through the middle of the propeller hub. It was well suited for low altitude combat and ground attack missions. More than 9,500 P-39s were produced by Bell Aircraft Corporation between 1940 and 1944, but only a few dozen of them survive today. The recovered plane is in remarkably good condition with its original paint and marking still visible. And in the future, the aircraft will be restored and displayed at a museum as a tribute to its history and heroism. Number 8. Enigma Cipher Machine The Enigma Cipher Machine was a device used by Nazi Germany during World War II to encrypt and decrypt secret messages. It was invented by a German engineer named Arthur Scherbius in the 1920s and was initially used for commercial and diplomatic purposes. The Enigma machine consists of a keyboard, a lamp board, a plug board, and a set of rotors that change the letters of a message according to a complex mathematical algorithm. The machine had millions of possible settings that could be changed daily by using different rotors, plug board connections, and initial positions. The Enigma machine was considered to be extremely secure by the Nazis, who used it for all branches of their military communication. However, they were unaware that the codes were being cracked by Allied codebreakers who used various methods to exploit weaknesses in the Enigma system. One of the most famous codebreakers was Alan Turing, a British mathematician who designed a machine called Bomba that could find possible settings for the Enigma machine. The code-breaking efforts of Turing and his colleagues at Bletchy Park are estimated to have shortened the war by two years and saved millions of lives. In December of 2020, German divers searching for discarded fishing nets in the Baltic Sea stumbled upon one of these rare Enigma cipher machines. They believed the device had been thrown overboard from a scuttled submarine. The divers contacted authorities, who then recovered and preserved the rusty device. The Enigma machine is now on display at a museum in Germany as a historical artifact and a reminder of the importance of cryptography in warfare. Number 7. Greek Ship In 2018, a team of archaeologists made a remarkable discovery at the bottom of the Black Sea, a 24-year-old Greek merchant ship that was intact and well-preserved. The vessel was found about 50 miles off the coast of Bulgaria at a depth of more than 1.3 miles where there's no oxygen. The condition prevented the decay and corrosion of organic materials such as wood and rope. The ship was about 75 meters long and had its mast, rudders, rowing benches and cargo still in place. It resembled a type of vessel that was depicted on ancient Greek pottery such as the famous siren vase that shows Odysseus tied to the mast as he listens to the siren's song. The shipwreck is believed to be one of many that sank along the ancient trade route between Greece and Asia Minor. The discovery was made by the Black Sea Maritime Archaeology Project, or MAP, which used two remote underwater vehicles to survey and map more than 60 shipwrecks in the region. The project also collected environmental data to study how sea levels have changed over time. The MAP team said that finding such an old and intact shipwreck was a complete one-off that could provide valuable insights into ancient maritime history and culture. Number 6. South Korean Ferry Seawall Ferry Disaster was a tragic event that occurred on April 16, 2014, when a passenger ferry carrying 476 people capsized and sank off the coast of South Korea. The majority of the victims were high school students on a field trip to Jeju Island. But unfortunately, 
only 172 people survived the accident. The disaster sparked public outrage and grief over the government's failure to prevent and handle the crisis. President Park Geun Hee apologized for her administration's negligence and incompetence. However, she was later impeached and removed from office for corruption and abuse of power. The recovery of the sunken ferry was a complex and costly operation that took nearly three years to complete. The main purpose was to find the remains of nine missing victims and collect evidence for further investigation. The ferry was finally lifted from the seafloor in March of 2017 by a giant salvage vessel, but sadly, no human remains were found inside. The Seawall Ferry disaster remains one of the most traumatic events in South Korea's modern history. It's left deep scars on the nation and raised questions about its safety culture and accountability system. If you were on a sinking boat, what would be your first instinct? Let us know in the comments. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button. Number 5. H.L. Hunley The H.L. Hunley was a Confederate submarine that made history by sinking an enemy ship, the USS Housatonic, during the American Civil War in 1864. However, after its successful attack, the Hunley also sank with its eight crew members and remained lost beneath the waves for more than a century. The discovery of the Hunley was a long and controversial process that involved several researchers and organizations. In 1995, a team of divers led by author Clive Cussler claimed to have found the submarine's location in Charleston's Outer Harbor, about four miles off Sullivan's Island. The recovery team had to dive 30 feet below the water before finding the Hunley buried in sand and sediment. But some historians disputed Kussler's claim and argued that another researcher, Lee Spence, had already located the Hunley in 1970 using historical records and sonar scans. Spence sued Kussler for credit and damages but lost his case in court. In 2000, after years of negotiation and preparations, a joint effort by several agencies including the U.S. Navy, South Carolina government, Clemson University, and Friends of the Hunley successfully raised the submarine from its watery grave. The Hunley was then transported to a conservation facility, where it underwent extensive preservation and study. The recovery of the sub revealed many secrets about its design, operation, and fate. Scientists also recovered and identified the remains of its crew members, who were subsequently buried with full military honors. However, the investigation into why and how the Hunley sank is still ongoing. Number 4. Transair Boeing Cargo Plane On July 2, 2021, a Boeing 737-200 cargo plane crashed into the sea off Honolulu shortly after takeoff due to engine problems. The plane was carrying two pilots who were rescued by the Coast Guard. The aircraft was en route from Honolulu International Airport to Kahului Airport in the neighboring Hawaiian island of Maui. After the crash, the National Transportation Safety Board launched an investigation into the accident and retrieved data from both flight recorders. The NTSB also used a remotely operated vehicle to recover parts of the wreckage from an ocean shelf between 350 and 450 feet deep. The recovery operation took place throughout October of 2021, and according to the NTSB, both engines of the plane had multiple failures before it ditched into the water. The pilots reported that they'd lost thrust on one engine and tried to return to Honolulu, but couldn't maintain altitude. They attempted to land at Kalealoa Airport instead, but they couldn't reach it in time. The NTSB is still analyzing the data and evidence to determine the probable cause of the accident. The investigation is expected to take about a year to complete, so we'll have to check back in at a later time in 2024. Number 3. F-35 Fighter Jet The U.S. Navy has successfully recovered an F-35C stealth fighter jet that crashed into the South China Sea in early 2022. The jet was one of the most advanced and expensive warplanes in the U.S. arsenal, costing $94 million. The F-35 is a variant of the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter program, which aims to develop a fifth-generation fighter jet for multiple branches of the military. The F-35C is designed for carrier operations and has larger wings and more fuel capacity than other variants. The crash occurred on January 24, 2022, when the F-35C attempted to land on the aircraft carrier USS Carl Vinson during a routine training mission. The jet hit the deck hard and slid off the edge of the ship, plunging into the water. The pilot ejected safely and was rescued by a helicopter. He suffered minor injuries but was later released from medical care. The Navy said that pilot error was behind the mishap as he failed to follow proper landing procedures after a high-speed maneuver. 
The Navy launched a salvage operation to retrieve the jet from the bottom of the sea using a specialized ship called the USNS Salver. The vessel has a crane that can lift up to 200 tons, as well as a remotely operated vehicle that can function at depths of up to 20,000 feet. The salvage operation took several weeks and faced multiple challenges, such as bad weather, strong currents, and potential interference from China, which claims most of the South China Sea as its territory. The Navy said that it took all necessary precautions to protect its personnel and equipment during the operation. They also said they recovered the jet in February of 2022 transported it back to the USS Carl Vinson for further inspection and analysis. The Navy released a statement that it will use the lessons learned from this incident to improve its safety and readiness in the future. Number 2. World War II Ships Iwo Jima is a small volcanic island in the Pacific Ocean that was the site of a fierce battle between the United States and Japan during World War II. The battle lasted for 36 days in 1945 and resulted in more than 26,000 casualties on both sides. Several ships were sunk by U.S. forces during a naval bombardment of the island. Recently, some of these sunken ships have resurfaced due to volcanic activity and seismic shifts near the Ogasawara Island chain, which includes Iwo Jima. Mount Suribachi is beneath the island and contains at least 110 active volcanoes, and recent seismic activity below the mount occurred in October of 2021. This event sent ash and smoke into the air. This eruption also caused crustal movement and uplifted terrain on Iwo Jima, exposing several shipwrecks that were previously submerged. The shipwrecks are visible from aerial footage and satellite images. They include Japanese cargo ships, landing craft, and patrol boats. Some of them still have their guns and equipment intact. The shipwrecks are now considered historical relics and war graves by both countries. The volcanic activity and seismic shifts on Iwo Jima are part of an ongoing process that shapes the island's landscape. Amazingly, the island has been rising at a rate of about 15 centimeters per year since 2013 due to magma accumulation beneath it. And at number one, Estonia Ferry Bow Door. The Estonia Ferry was a passenger and car ferry that sank in the Baltic Sea on the 28th of September 1994, killing 852 people. It was one of the worst maritime disasters in European history. The ferry was traveling from Tallinn, Estonia to Stockholm, Sweden when it encountered a severe storm that damaged its bow door and caused water to flood the car deck. The ferry capsized and sank in less than an hour, leaving only 137 survivors. The bow door of the ferry was recovered from the seafloor two months after the sinking by a salvage operation. The official investigation concluded that the bow door had been torn off by the waves and that this was the main cause of the disaster. However, some survivors and relatives of the victims have disputed this finding and claimed that there was evidence of a collision or explosion that caused a hole in the vessel's hull. In September of 2020, a documentary film called Estonia, The Find That Changes Everything, revealed new underwater footage of the wreck that showed a 13-foot hole in the starboard side of the hull near the bow. The filmmakers suggested that this hole could have been caused by an external force, such as a collision with another vessel or a mine. The documentary sparked renewed controversy and calls for a new investigation into the ferry sinking. In January 2023, Sweden, Finland and Estonia announced that they'd launched a joint inquiry into the new information revealed by the documentary. They said they'd conduct new dives to examine the hole in more detail. They also said they'd respect an agreement made in 1995 to treat the wreck site as a final resting place for those who perished, meaning they won't disturb any human remains or personal belongings they find. Would you rather pull an ancient boat out of the sea or a plane from World War II? Let us know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.